Hey, good afternoon everyone. Legend and Molly, and today we're coming at you from the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Gonna go see some animals, relax, and have a good time, and show you all around the zoo. Let's go take a look. Very neat over here, everyone. This is an Indian rhinoceros currently cooling off in the water. It is hot. It is warm, yeah, it's probably you in the- You never see these guys in water. No. Really pretty, really big animal. Just posing for us right there. That's neat. The uh, rhinoceros has a, a pretty good sized exhibit as well for a zoo that's not really overly large. That is a very, very pretty rhinoceros. Look at this, guys. Florida black bears. Not sure if it'll focus through the fence or not. Oh, he's walking down his little bear path. And this, there's two of them in here, they're brother and sister. And I always think bears are really neat animals. He's got a weird strut, kind of, as he comes right over to us. I hope he's okay. Very fuzzy. I like their, their little treehouse. Definitely, I think they have one of the nicer exhibits here that we've seen in the zoo so far. I had to turn the camera back on because the bear walked right over to us. I mean, shaking like a dog. In what I would imagine is has to be the largest animal here at the Central Florida Zoo. You got a couple of giraffes, and these are gigantic giraffes. And they're hanging out right by the fence for us to get a really good shot of them. The zoo does offer a giraffe feeding experience. It's $5 if you want to feed the giraffes. Always a fun time. Man, those are. Beautiful animal here. This is a moor leopard. Really sleepy, but man, he's really pretty. He also looks very hot. Yeah. He might be awake. Yeah. Yeah, his eyes are open for a second. We'll say the, the leopard does have a, a pretty cool exhibit here as well. Uh, multi stories with a waterfall. And a nice rock to sleep on. In the shade. This very excited animal here is a fossa. They are native to the island of Madagascar. And he's walking away. Is he gonna jump? I hope he jumps on something. We're fine. Uh, he's thinking about it. We're he's scratching. scratching his face. If you haven't seen one of these guys, they're really neat animals. They've got a very weird body too, like a mix between like a cat and an otter. Kind of has a face of a ferret. Mm-hmm. Central Florida Zoo has two warthogs currently hanging out as far away from people as possible. Really cool tusks on this one though. Yeah. And you can see his buddy in the absolute farthest spot away from people. When, uh, taking a nap. My sister was young. This was her favorite animal. Your Fun sister's fact. favorite animal was when the warthog. When she was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Pumbaa fan? I'm uh, not sure, but she loved warthogs. Got a couple of bald eagles here. Very, very pretty animal, obviously. You gotta assume these guys are probably rescues. This is most of the ones you find in, in zoos. But uh, compared to most bald eagle areas, they have a lot of room here yeah. at the Central Florida Zoo. Really neat animal here. This is the African crested porcupine. There's two of them in there taking a nap. That's what they do best. Yeah, you can look at their little feet. But most of the zoo has a nice otter exhibit. They were. Uh, they were sleeping, unfortunately, but the otter exhibit is over there. <laughs> These noisy birds here is a silvery-cheeked hornbill. They hop, they make noise, they've got really cool beaks. Of course, it wouldn't be a zoo here in Florida if they didn't have some good old American alligators. See a big guy hanging out over there. Then a little bit smaller one over here. Right next to the alligator, she got this Orinoco crocodile. Wish he was uh, facing towards us. Looks like he has a pretty cool snout. 
and here is the American crocodile. I wish he was not hiding behind that tree because he's he looked massive. Very, very large. We got some macaws posing over here. We're eating a tree. Or eating a tree. They are such pretty birds. Even when they're upside down eating a tree. So we're not exactly sure how to pronounce this. I think it's Ryacinth macaws. So not that your normal kind of macaws. These guys are actually significantly bigger than most of the, the traditional parrot kind of guys you would see. And it's a darker blue than a lot of yeah. birds. Yeah, I think a larger beak. Not the greatest shot, but you can see a cotton top tamarind over there, which are really cool kind of marmoset animals. A small monkey. Only found one in this whole enclosure, though. They're probably hidden. Yeah, they're probably there. They might be sleeping. Yeah. So, good news, there are much more than one cotton top tamarind here. Up oh, then they are jumpy. Very jumpy. They move fast. They make a fun noise, too. Kind of squeak. Oh, yes, he is on the move, Molly. Look at him go. Interesting shape. This is a radiated tortoise and a really, really big high shell. This very large exhibit here is home to the zoo's cheetahs, which are currently relaxing down there in that cave. Over here, it looks like he's eating or drinking at the moment. It's some sort of a, a donkey, I would guess, or yeah. a burrow. Donkey pro Through the fence here, you can see the laughing kookaburro as he flies away. He's actually one of the larger ones I've seen. Like, I'm used to seeing smaller ones, I guess. He's, he's a good-sized bird. Interesting exhibit here. you got a couple different animals. There's a couple types of turtles or tortoises in here. You can see that guy moving around. You also see this big crow. Is it crow or...? Unfortunately, sleeping for us today is the clouded leopard. These animals are really cool. You can barely, barely see them over there in the back of his box. Very tranquil area of the zoo here with a, uh, a frog and turtle fountain and a butterfly bench. The zoo's home to a couple red ruffled lemurs. Not really doing a whole lot right now, but they're uh, some really neat animals. I do like that they have a, a working waterfall oh, yeah, no, that's for them to really play with in here. Very important if you are visiting the zoo with children, they do have a playground. The zoo does have a herpetarium, which is like a reptile and amphibian kind of house. Really can't get a good shot of it, but that is a two-toed sloth back there, that ball of fuzz. I love this sign here. <laughs> it's like, don't feed the squirrels. It's so cute. In here, you've got a cougar, sleepy. So for food here at the Central Florida Zoo, they got Sonny's Barbecue, which is really tasty stuff. It's delicious. And uh, they also sell beer over here, so it's beer 30 for me, drink at a Kona Big Wave. Um, my beer was like eight bucks. They had a sale on hard seltzers that we did not see until after we ordered the Big Wave, but the hard seltzer's $3. Yeah. Like that's, that's a good time. Drink some hard seltzer. Good. Yeah. Drink some hard seltzer, see some animals. That's, that's a good day. And that'll do it for our time here at Central Florida Zoo. Overall, I thought it was okay. Not a very expensive zoo. Cost us about $15 to get into. And it had some cool animals. My highlights, I love the rhinoceros. I love the fossa. I like the giraffes. I like the porcupines. Yeah. So they had some cool animals. Um, and, and when you think Central Florida or Orlando, it's not really close to Walt Disney World. So if you're planning a Disney trip, this is actually about an hour away from the Walt Disney World property or so. Yes. Um, close to the Sanford Airport. So if you happen to be flying in or out of there and have some time to kill, good option. Or if you live around here and you want to do something a little bit different, uh, it's $15 instead of $150 for your day of enjoyment. So that's kind of my thoughts on the zoo here. Uh, Molly, what did you think of the Central Florida Zoo? No, I agree. Uh, it's a decent price for what you pay. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of room and kind of confusing layout. So yeah, a little, you, you, you look at their map. Yeah. Come in with some sort of a plan. Yep. But overall, a very nice zoo. I love the rhino and the frost. Oh, and, and uh, bonus points for the $3 hard seltzer. Yes. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you like zoos and aquariums, we have plenty of videos 
all about them on the channel. Also, we do cute baby animals of the month where we get uh, footage sent to us from all over the world, all different kinds of adorable baby animals. So be sure to check that out every single month here in the loop. And thanks for watching.